Hello, this is Dan Petrock. I'm faculty liaison for distance learning at Des Moines Area Community College. This video is going to help you uh, figure out how to adopt a book using the bookshelf um, tool in Blackboard. Uh, for those of us that are piloting this uh, course fee model where students have already paid for the ebook, uh, and if you've copied the signature course or the web enhanced signature course, there's going to be a link in there. Uh, so I'm going to go into one of my summer courses here. And right under course content, you're going to see something where it says, our, there's our textbook. Now, obviously, how did it, I'm going to show you how to get that there in case you did not copy the signature course. Um, but even if you did copy the signature course or the web enhanced signature course, um, what we're finding is typically this it has a link here, but it's not actually linked to a book, which is something you're going to have to go in to do. So ideally, it's going to be looking like this. So when I click on this, it's going to go ahead and just launch the ebook here. Um, so then they have a uh, another version here that can actually be run um, and down and they can view it uh, in another tab. Uh, obviously, if we're using my Stat Lab, they could use that ebook as well. Um, so this ebook is available for you right now and I would strongly encourage you to make sure you have access to this as a faculty member. Um, so typically when you go into the course you click on that it's going to say hey we need you to log in or to create an account. So go through that process. Uh, go ahead and put your DMAC credentials in If for some reason it doesn't like your DMAC credentials go ahead and go through the process of um, you know like find you know create a password and all those things um, so you can have access to the ebook right now yourself. Now when students go in here and they click on this, as long as there's been a book adopted, then that's when they'll have the option um, uh, to create their account, use their DMAC credentials, and all those instructions for the students are right here. Uh, and it kind of says, uh, it's got a, um, a user's guide. Uh, it suggests is use your DMAC password. Um, so this is what your students are going to be doing. So I suggest as a faculty member, you do this as well. And so in the Start Here folder, they're going to go through, and one of their things is to sign up for this ebook, and it's clicked right there. Now, if you go in there and you click on it, and it says there's no book that's been selected for this, um, this is the process you're going to use. And if you um, aren't copying one of the signature courses, this is also the process you're going to use. And all we have to do is go into Tools, and there's going to be an app on the left side here called Bookshelf. So if you click on Bookshelf, it's going to have um, select an ebook for your course. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and you can actually change it or manage the ebook for your course. So um, since this one's already been adopted, I'll just show you what that looks like. And it shows that we've selected uh, this Crayola 13th edition. Um, it's a 180 day option is what it's called. Um, if I go into a course, I'm just going to go into a generic course that's uh, has not been done yet. So again, if we go click into tools here and we go down here to the bookshelf app. Um, so even if you've got it on there, it says manage adopted ebooks for your course. And probably the easiest way I've found is just to search for us author and I just type in Triola. There it is. I hit go and it will pull up the books. Um, from Triola that's uh, possible to be adopted for this course and uh, we don't want the TI-8384 we want the 13th edition this 180 day option we don't want the Excel version so if we just hit uh, select for that one and then we hit adopt down here in the corner it's going to ask hey where do you want to put this link um, and you can just put it right in course content um, I've actually made and you can also copy that so I'll just hit browse and I will click uh, course content and just hit submit and there it is so now the that book has been adopted when your students go in there they click on this um, then they can go ahead and go through the registration uh, if they've already taken this course and I've already essentially prepaid for the ebook and my math lab or my stat lab um, they'll have the option to opt out here as well and so I guess typically there's about a one or two percent opt-out rate um, and in the email I'm going to send out, I will give you names of people. You should forward their name to myself or um, a couple of the Pearson folks. And we'll just make sure that uh, they, they get their money back if they've already prepaid. Um, so pretty much the only people, the only students who shouldn't 
go through this um, and click on this and, and the only ones who should opt out are the ones who are retaking the course. Uh, other than that, um, it should be good for everybody. So that's pretty much it. If you've copied the course and you see this link, uh, go ahead and click on it. You go ahead and create your account. Make sure you can view the text. Um, and then uh, if it says there's no book selected, then you're going to want to go into tools. You're going to want to go into bookshelf and you're going to make sure you adopt that book and um, that that will work and then you'll be all set up so hope this video helps obviously reach out to me if you need anything else but uh, this this first time through it's it's always a little um, tougher because we've never done this before um, but the, the good news is it, it seems like uh, everything seems to be working um, and uh, I'll, I'll send an email with contact info if you do have any questions.